basically you start here in Belgarde. The first point is kilometer 10. So basically the wind is coming southeast. So the first part here is going to be quite headwind. Uh, but then at kilometer 10, if there is wind, you have a crosswind section here, and then more tailwind and crosswind. Uh, crosswind. So kilometer 10 is a very crucial point. We Incredible. missed the break and we were all in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going. It's still oh, amazing. It's still amazing. <laughs> it's still amazing. <laughs> it's still amazing. <laughs> it's raining. Oh, can someone talk into it to see if I can hear? Hello. Hey. We are today in uh, the first day of Etoile de Bessege, uh, the start in Bellegarde. Uh, we did the race several years. Uh, it's a nice race for this time of year. Today normally it's a flat stage. Uh, there's not much wind today, but in the past we had a lot of echelons here. So first we try with the team to be in the breakaway uh, and try to take something like the mountain prize or something, try to take some bonifications. Probably in the end with the field is here like sprinters like Christoph, uh, uh, the Buskere, there is like really top world sprinters here so it would surprise me if it's not a bunch sprint. Hopefully we can do something with, uh, with Jonas uh, in the sprint. On the Ronde des Vallées, we also find the Club of the Pays-Bas, Davy Gunst. We have the Polonais Premislo Kasperkiewicz. Excellent parcours derrière. Eh bien, we continue after we have received. Mark, first race of the year, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling pretty good for it. It's kind of not too for February in France. The weather's pretty nice, the team are pretty motivated. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually a bit of fun. It's not too hilly, so yeah, hopefully it goes pretty well. Uh, yeah, don't feel too bad now. I suppose it's early season, so yeah. no one's on top form just yet, but yeah, hopefully give it a good go. Nice. Give it a go get in the break, and then if not, try and help out Jonas here for the sprint. Good. <laughs> Come back to the car, we're here. Let's take another one, go back up, yeah? Send somebody else back, yeah? Yeah, no mirror, eh, Freddy? Yeah. But, but keep near the front, keep everybody at the front, yeah? All good? Look for hands, Francois. Look after Jonas now, yeah? Jonas, yeah, yeah, yeah? Jonas shouldn't be coming back for bottles. Yeah, I know, I don't know yeah. what he did, yeah. So, we're, look we're after him now. Good. Move him up, yeah, he's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's thinking good, so, yeah. okay. Here's the stall guys, move up, move up. Yeah. 
Eight seconds. Good job, Dan. Smash it. Mais dans une poignée de secondes, et le vainqueur est un vainqueur Et le vainqueur dont il s'impose devant Alexander Christophe, un au départ donc... Peux-vous nous donner un taxi Oui. Vous êtes en train de faire un taxi Nous sommes en train de faire un taxi à la fin, le climb et le high speed, parce que le break est tombé. Mais... Yeah, at the end I could manage myself to the front. Okay. Yeah. Good job, guys. Well done. Top 20. Yeah. How was that, Mark? Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, it went easy for a few hours, but then they got a lot harder at the end. Oh, your yeah, first. Like 100k was was okay, pretty easy. There was a breakaway with like four guys. I think the maximum had five minutes or something. Uh, the finishing three laps was so ridiculously hard. Yeah. Uh, went flat out. Uh, yeah. It's really really a difference in the last year racing on this level. It's like now racing with grown men, not with guys like we are. I think tomorrow is uh, one more flat stage, and yeah, yeah I try to to go for it again. How long? Yeah, really good. Uh, missed the early break, unfortunately, which was part of the plan. Um, but it's never the end of the world when that happens. So they settled down into uh, into a good uh, a good unit, a good compact unit within the peloton. Uh, let the World Tour teams do what they we knew they were going to do. Uh, came back together with yeah less than 5k to go, and uh, Jonas got a good result as a as part of the unit. You know, the guys rode really well as a group and. Uh, and got him, uh, not sure, 17th or 18th place. Uh, tomorrow looks very similar sort of out outcome as today, I think. It's, uh, it's a little bit lumpy early on. There will be an early break. We'll try and get in that again. But I think it will be another uh, another sprint tomorrow. So yeah, let's let's see, what, uh, see how the boys can work together again and get a result, hopefully.